Okay, so a while back, I posted this picture on Twitter saying, you know, this is what I would want if Prismatic was perfect, for Titan at least. Red of Ascent with grapple grenades. Actually, hold up, let me do something. So, to put it simply, you have, oh, oh my bad. You have Knockout. Okay, you can't even see this. You have... You have Knockout, which works hand-in-hand -hand with something like this. Or this. Because your Grapple-powered melee will proc Knockout, and your Shiver Strike will proc Knockout. Now, I wasn't too sure about the super, so I didn't really care about this. Just ignore this, and I don't even know what this did at the time, so I just ignore this, right? This is what you need to look at, because you need to you need to understand the mind process behind this. Cryo skating, important. Cryo skating, big slide. B, I, G, slide, slide. There you go, slide. Big slide, important. And on top of that, you have a aspect on strand that procs reload and airborne effectiveness whenever you grapple catapult jump and thrusters thrusters very cool i like thrusters most of these these right here is mainly for movement sorry for all the red lines but these right here are for movement including my jump but these five abilities are for movement understand that and that's literally what i wanted with strand or prismatic i just wanted the most optimal movement i could get on a titan and on top of that you have i think this is radiant off melees this is crab walking so whenever you crouch you get increased movement speed and this is hedrons no this is durance i'm trying to remember and this is impetus let me let me double check so i'm not saying anything wrong Whisper of Durance, you know, slow that I apply, slow that I apply lasts longer. And then you have Impetus, I was right. Powered melee hits grants 40 handling for 5 seconds. So that's 40 handling, 40. It's a big jump. And it also, oh, I'm thinking of Dur Hedrons. Wait, why didn't I do Hedrons? Oh, okay. When you free someone. Okay, okay, okay. So it's just Whisper of Durance, Whisper of Impetus, Whisper of Dilation, Ember of Torches, and Threat of Ascent. Right? Radiant, better crouch, handling on melee, more slow, and AE when in ear. Or grapple. So, that's my whole plan about this. Just fucking fly in and, you know do what I can with the abilities I have and let Gunplay do the rest. But I was wrong about this all along. So let me, let me tell you, I thought about it. Maybe Bungie is cooking more than I am because I don't actually know how to play Prismatic. It's not even out in the game yet. And also, I'm sorry if there's no actual, I don't actually have any footage because I deleted everything on my drives video wise that's not already on youtube so i'm sorry but this is this has to go so i okay let me go back to it so i was thinking what if i should take what bungie's given us because they've basically given us everything about the dlc including some leaks so spoiler alert if you haven't seen any of the new weapons there will be two of them that i will show in three seconds so i cooked so i was thinking how could i optimize this for my my own mind as much as possible I went with Twilight Arsenal. I've tried to link everything up as much as possible. It's a little bit scuffed, but I'll try to get you through it. So let's start with it. The two exotics I chose was Ophidian Aspect and Persis Scars. So whenever I get a Void kill, I will get Restoration. And my weapons will have plus 35 handling. That's what Ophidian Aspect do, at least currently in the game. And I chose to pair this up with Thrusters, Catapult Lift, Shiver Strike, suppressor grenade knockout and diamond lance 
So the thought process is, Twilight Arsenal, Shiver Strike, Suppressor Grenade, and Knockout will count towards Diamond Lance. Because this is the thing, this is why I'm a little bit scared of what Titans will be able to do. Of course, Warlocks and Hunters will have their niche, they will have their thing. But this is the thing, every time you get a Knockout kill, it's an ability kill, right? The way you make a Diamond Lance on the subclass, Prismatic, is by getting a ability kill. So every single time you get a knockout melee, you will make a Diamond Lance. I want you to think about that for a second. Of course, there is the cooldown of, I think, 15 seconds. But 15 seconds is not going to give a fuck. Because this is the plan. You fly in with Shiver Strike. If you have suppressed them, that's awesome, because then they will be volatile, and I will explain that later. You fly in with Shiver Strike. You also become radiant. Important, radiant. The Shiver Strike will hit them. You will proc knockouts, and you will be radiant. And whenever you punch them again with the double melee combo, you will make a Diamond Lance. You can throw this Diamond Lance to freeze and then shatter someone. Right, now that's kind of crazy thrusters will make you will give you a great engagement on top of that giving you a much faster class ability which will go into armor mods that i haven't covered so now you understand that the cause of why i chose the abilities i do suppressor grenades you will understand that in a bit you see the lines going from suppressor grenade but these things super melee grenade and you know the aspect knockout will all count towards diamond lance and that's the whole point and I don't really care about the prismatic super thing or whatever. It's cool and all. Throw an explosive device energized with strand, matter, and arc energy that detonates in a supercharged suspending burst. The suspended targets take heavy damage over time and chains jolting to nearby targets. That's pretty cool. Definitely sounds very strong. But my whole plan is, let me tell you what I'm using. So, Facet of Dawn. Facet of Hope, Facet of Purpose, Facet of Dominance, and Facet of Bravery. So the first facet gives me Radiant of Powered Melee hits, and whenever I get Powered Melee kills, I get my allies also becomes Radiant, right? And then, Facet of Hope, while you have an Elemental buff, which is Radiant, or Restoration, your class ability regenerates faster. So if I get a kill with my Shayura's Wrath, I will proc Restoration. If I get a Melee hit... I'm pretty sure, uh, I'm pretty sure Knockout is a powered melee, so I will technically, if right, if Bungie hasn't thought about this, I will proc Radiant, which sounds unbelievably dumb, but hey, and also, it's because of the seasonal artifact mod, Radiant Orbs, while you have a solar or prismatic subclass, pick it up an orb makes you Radiant, right, pretty cool, and making orbs will not be hard, because I'm pretty sure all I have to do is put on one, you know, I, okay, okay, Put it like this, I use my thrusters, fly in, um, become radiant with my shiver strike, double melee some guy, absolutely gun someone else, uh, or throw diamond lance at him, and I will make an orb. If not, I can use my powered melee on my arms, you know, big strong arms, and whenever I get the knockout kill, I will regenerate an orb. This orb, I can pick up, if I'm not already radiant, to become radiant. Just an example, understand, right? Stasis weapon final blows against slowed or frozen targets release a burst that slows. So critical anomalies a new sniper, it's an aggressive frame, which interests me, because I love aggressive frames, but it is a 42 zoom, so it's a little bit scary by the looks of it. And lost signal is what kind of excites me, because lost signal is basically a legendary with a horde, from my understanding. Let me find the original picture, but understand this is a leak. This is something the people who logged on during the PlayStation epidemic or whatever the fuck happened, and they took a screenshot of the weapon and, you know, posted it online. But this GL is one of the seasonal weapons, and a burst fire grenade launcher. Each projectile creates a lingering pull on impact that deals damage over time, which I am thinking sounds pretty cool. Okay, and then I have Facet of Purpose picking up an orb grants me overshield because I'm on void. It depends on your super. So if I'm on arc, I get amplified, solar restoration, stasis, frost armor, and strand woven mail. But uh, since I'm void, I get an overshield. I don't know if it's a full overshield, but I get an overshield. And then we have face it of dominance. Your void grenade weakens. 
suppressors. So on top, I suppress them, and on top of that, I weaken them, right? Right. You see where this is starting to... And then on top of that, defeating targets with grenades, if I kill them with it, grants me volatile rounds to my Shayora's Wrath. And also, weaken, defeating weakened targets goes perfectly in with the Seasonal mod. Defeating weakened targets provides a small void overshield, so I don't even need to pick up an orb to get the overshield to begin with. And if this is true, you get the full 45 HP overshield, which is pretty good. Because right now, I think, right now with Void Titans, they probably have... I can't say the overshield is the strongest part of their build, it's probably control demolition with scatter grenades, and you don't have this with, thank god. Um, but column 3, I kind of just took this one because I, I didn't find anything else that actually would help me in any way. So don't really worry about this one, it's just random nonsense. Whenever someone's weakened, on top of that, I also deal more damage to them. I don't know how much more this deals, but this piques my interest, because I will weaken them, and my Shire's Wrath will do increased damage. And let's say I have a kill clip perked at the same time. I don't know what the TTK will be, but I think it will be a little bit too much. Especially thinking that Shire's Wrath with kill clip is insane right now. I love Shire's Wrath. It's one of the most best feeling weapons i just wish they could fix the scope a little bit and having a very good shayora's ref shayora's role makes it even better because right now if golden tricorn works i might need to try to get this i'm just saying let's say that i get a kill get a suppressor nade kill or if it counts for any ability just based off your super it's going to be unbelievably strong because i can get a knockout kill and proc golden tricorn times two if i get an smg kill of course and that makes my time to kill 0.5 if i have weakened plus radiant it's a 0.4 it's five shots to kill them and on top of that if i think about the seasonal mod it's going to be even faster on top of that shield crush when i have a void over shield which i get from picking up orbs or i get from defeating weakened enemies i get increased damage and faster recharge to my melee which Guess what? Works with Shiver Strike and Knockout. And if I have Radiant, which I get from picking up an orb, or hitting someone with my powered melee, I get fast, more grenade damage and faster grenade recharge. You see where, like, this all fits together? And why I am actually kind of excited to play with Prismatic now in PvP? Like, it's just... I didn't really think too much of it in the beginning, mainly because it's looked very disappointing at the first glance, until I started thinking. And I am, you know, I don't know how long I've been recording for, but it's another all right video. Um, I want to understand your thoughts, and if you want me to do a Warlock in a Hunter setup before it actually comes out, because I would love to do that, and if people are interested in seeing my thoughts on the other classes, then sure. But right now, I'm mainly a Behemoth player, I mainly just play Titan at the moment. Of course, I played Hunter and Warlock in Trials this week, so I play all three classes, but my main class by far is, of course, Titans. So... Let me know your thoughts, let me know your opinions, and I want to hear what you think about this. But overall, this seems very, very fun, and I can't wait to use it. And yeah, I'll see you guys around. Goodbye!